explain the overall rhythmic concept you bring to Sonar. Yeah, in Sonar, the a rhythmic idea is like the fundament of a composition. So everything else is built around one ry rhythmic idea. So we are kind of one rhythm section. I'm the drummer, but we are four drummers. <laughs> What are the unique challenges of being in a group that's built around tritones? The challenge is, since the rhythmic idea is the, f uh, the fundament of a piece, to, to play this fundament, but also to play more than the fundament. And the challenge is to do both, to play with it without losing the basic idea. So that's the challenge, to figure out how much Free freedom and playfulness is, is needed to make it sound good. And how much do I have to, to stick to, to the basic idea? So in Sonar, a note unplayed is as important as a note played. And I'm wondering what that means for you from a rhythmic concept. That means that I, I try to find spots where something more is needed and but there are spots where I don't, I'm not asked to do anything more. <laughs> so um, by playing a tune and by learning, by knowing the parts what the others do, I, I, I try to find those, those spots. What's it like to have David Torn involved in the making of this record? Till now, I'm very glad about it. It was very interesting and very fun to work with him because he has much experience and it, it was much more better than I expected because he he really listens to a band or I think he listens to us how how do we sound as a band and he tries to find his place in in our music and I like that uh, his goal is to m make the, uh, the band sound like a band on the album. So to bring this life energy to, to the album. And I like that. He's telling a story which is supporting the story the tune already has. But I think he is very fast in... in um, to see how, how where, where does a song a song go, and to support this story, and it makes me playing more extreme. Uh, quiet parts can be much more quiet, and louder parts. I go, I go. I play with more risk because I hear him playing risky, and he just tries out things and. He doesn't care when, when something is not right. Describe how you and Christian work together to create interlocking rhythms that support Bernard and Stefan. Yeah, Christian and I try to build dynamic arcs um, with our parts. So little waves <laughs> um, with little fills or when he plays more than he than he has written out. So we, we try to keep it always alive, even if, if there's nothing happening. We, we, we try to always make happen something. What are some new rhythmic elements you've incorporated into this album? I think on the new album, we have more polyrhythmic grooves, so longer forms compared to the other albums and it's actually the first time I have a I have two toms <laughs> and I have some percussion things so from the drum side it's it's more colorful than than the other record I think 